I'm Jaquan Lynch from Thomas Jefferson, and we're watching Backpack Broadcasting. Coming to you from East New York at Transit Tech High School in Brooklyn, Dexter Henry here for Backpack Broadcasting. And I had the opportunity to witness a great non-league matchup today as the Curtis Warriors visited Brooklyn to battle the Transit Tech Express. And it was a great matchup. Curtis 12-0 before this game, undefeated on the season. Transit Tech 3-9 in the Brooklyn AA division. That record might sound weak, but they're playing in one of the best divisions in New York City. And this game was an intense battle from the get-go. Transit Tech was controlling everything early on, playing well offensively, is about as sharp as I've seen them all season. Matthew Bonton led them in the first half with 16 points. He connected on four three-pointers. But in the second half, it was a much different story. Fabian McDonald and Richard Willis got into foul trouble, and that seemed to hurt them in the second half, especially in the third quarter. In the third quarter, it was huge for the Warriors of Curtis. They outscored the Express 29 to 13, and that sparked them. They hit a ton of three-pointers from all over the court and just seemed like they couldn't be stopped from downtown, and that really hurt the Express, who had to battle back in the fourth quarter, and they did. They kept fighting. They were able to battle back, but in the end, they fell to the Warriors 88 to 87 at home. A tough loss for them, but a definite good win indeed for the Warriors of Curtis. You know, we circle them and, you know, we look forward to playing them. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more proud. Uh, you know, 10 points, uh, was seven down at the half. I think they were up by 12 at one point. Uh, they battled back. They shot the ball real well. Um, you know, we were able to withstand, you know, and, you know what, what they did and just a great basketball game. So the Warriors of Curtis get a big non-league win, and now we look on the other side at Transit Tech, and this was a tough loss for them. They've lost a lot of tough games, close games this season. In fact, six games they've lost in single digits. A lot of them have been by eight points or less, so they have not been able to close it out in the close games, and they will look to try to build upon that next week. They have two road games. They will finish at Westinghouse and Grady on the road to close out the season before they look towards the playoffs. But if you look at this Transit Tech team, they're a strong team, they have scoring, they just haven't been able to get it done down the stretch. But when you look at this game, and after the game I had the chance to talk to head coach Michael Perrazzo and Fabian McDonald, they both said that this loss came down to one thing, and that was defense. The effort was there, and yet foul trouble definitely hurt us, but we didn't defend. We gave up too many baskets too quickly, too easily. Open threes, not rotating, not helping defensively, the improper rotations. It was, we played about a 10 minute stretch really as poor defense as you could play and when you do that against a good team you're not going to win and uh, you know I'm, I'm pleased that the guys kept playing till the end despite losing our you know two go-to guys offensively but you know we lost the game because we didn't defend well defense defense definitely killed us we didn't we helped we sometimes we over helped and we we left shooters wide open knock down shooters open and against a good team like Curtis you can't do that just us coming to the beginning of the game having that mindset and follow through with coaches game plan and sticking with it we all got to hold each other accountable on defense. That's the main thing, defense. All right, so great non-league matchup here today. Curtis gets the win over Transit Tech. And as you said, both teams will look to keep it rolling. Good to see a team from Staten Island doing their thing against Brooklyn. But as we know, this is one of the toughest leagues that I cover here, the Brooklyn PSL AA division. And Transit Tech will look to bounce back next week as they close out their season. As far as it goes for Backpack Broadcasting, tomorrow we'll be at Boys and Girls High School where South Shore will look to get another win, the second one of the season against Boys and Girls. Boys and Girls, they're going to be looking for a little bit of revenge in this matchup as they will host the Vikings of South Shore. That's it for me here from East New York at Transit Tech High School. For Backpack Broadcasting, I'm Dexter Henry. See you guys later.